So I've got here a QNAP QM24P384 expansion card, which will take four NVMe uh, SSD drives. So I've got four of those here as well. And we're gonna go ahead and actually install them here in this unit. So let's go through the process of what we need to do to actually install these in this. These are all the parts that we're gonna to need to set it up. We've got uh, the thermal adhesive for the drives to connect to the heatsink. We've got our screws in this little bag, which will uh, basically lock the drives in. And then we've also got here these little pads uh, that will essentially form spaces and padding underneath the SSD drives. So first up, we need to remove the heatsink from the expansion card. So we're gonna to have to unscrew these uh, in order to remove it. So I'm gonna use this tray that it actually came in just to, to rest it in while we're removing the screws because I don't want to damage the underside of the circuit board. So I'm just gonna slot it into here and we've got our screwdriver and we'll go ahead and undo these screws. Now the screws are designed not to completely remove. So basically undo them until they don't appear to actually be threading at all anymore. And just leave them at that point because uh, they won't pop out completely. So we've got these screws all undone now. What's happened here is it's basically lifted this up uh, and from there we can actually go ahead and remove it. Now, if any of these do appear to be just caught in a little bit, just unscrew them. Just the okay. Now, if it won't release fully, uh, it means that one of these might still be in a little. So it looks like over this side here, we've got this one. Uh, it's just caught that little bit. Just release that. There we go. So now that we've got those undone, our heat sink will just lift straight off. You can undo this power cable here if you wish to. That should just pop straight out. Um, but you don't need to. Uh, the, the heat sink will actually fold out of the way sufficiently. So now we've got our SSD bays here. This is where they're going to go. Obviously, there's no thermal adhesive or, or anything like that on the bottom of this heat sink at this stage. So next up, we need to put our SSD in one of these slots. So if we grab one out, now you might've noticed we've got these rubber pads in here. These are actually gonna be a problem when it comes to inserting the drive. We don't need these rubber pads so we can actually remove them. So they should just come straight up for us, but be careful of that orange strip. This is the thermal sensor. Uh, we don't want to impact that. If you're only installing one or two drives, just take out the ones that you need. I'm gonna take them all out though, because I'm installing four drives into here. Now there's just a little bit of adhesive under the middle bottom of these. So just take care as you remove that. It should just peel up and then release. Okay, so that is this bit all ready to go. It's time to install our SSDs. Now, have a look at whichever drives you use. I've got the Corsair MP400s. Check which way they go and what's actually on them. On this one, we've got a sticker, black sticker over everything on this side. And on the other side, we've got another sticker. Now these stickers can get in the way. Um, for this one, check the slots here, which way the pin goes it's going to mount in it this way. So you can have a practice run if you want. You'll see this little tooth here will slot into one side. That's where it's gonna go and slot down, okay? And that'll get screwed in. However, before we do this, we wanna prep it for our heat sink to actually go on it, okay? And we do have these thermal tapes, but we don't need this sticker on here. Stickers are not thermally conductive. And I see so many videos on YouTube of people installing these with a heat sink and leaving the stickers on. It's probably going to void your warranty to remove the stickers, but they're not gonna help your thermal con conductivity. And so in a way, by leaving the sticker on, you're actually defeating the purpose of even having this big heat sink. So we need to remove them. Uh, I am pleased that it's this side and not this side because removing this side is the one that's more likely, I suspect, to void the warranty. Uh, it doesn't have a warning on it anywhere about that, but that would be my suspicion. So 
We're going to go ahead and prepare all of our SSDs by removing the sticker and applying the thermal tape to them. So we just want to lift the sticker up and it should peel straight off. Just be careful with that. Fortunately, it looks like there's not any residue being left behind. That can be really annoying. But we've split it there. So we are going to lose, lose a little bit. So I'm just trying, see I've pulled that little bit up, just trying to avoid pulling up any more of it. All right, so let's stick her off. We do have a little bit here that I just want to try and get rid of. Just being careful here because we don't want to damage the components. Oh, this bit really does not want to lift up. Okay. So it's one off. Three more to go. All right, so we've got our four SSDs here. They've all had their uh, sticky labels removed. Now, some of them... I do have a little bit of residue on this one that I couldn't get off by hand. Um, if you do have some of that, uh, you want to use like an alcohol wipe or something like that to clean it up. Uh, usually something like this that's designed for glasses and so on can work quite well. Um, but basically you just want a bit of an alcohol swab to lift off that little bit of residue. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. To get these ready to install, uh, we want to have some rubber pads basically underneath the drives just to lift them up so that they're not directly against the board uh, just to help support them and keep the space out. So that's going to go on the underside. Now these are not thermally conductive so we can pretty much put them anywhere. Um, we kind of want to space them out a bit. We probably only need two or three on each drive. Um, you can remove the tape for these if you want. Uh, the manual does suggest doing so. I don't think it's needed for this because we're not doing anything that's that's thermal conductive. Now, because we've got this thermal sensor on the um, expansion card, I do want to take care of where that is. So if we have a look at it, our drive's going to slot in that way. So if we look at that, we can see this sensor is kind of sitting in the middle here and it's going to come in about uh, just on the edge of this circuit here. So. Because this is a double-sided NVMe SSD, we actually don't want to put the pads on any of these raised sections, so the actual memory sections, um, because it's going to make it too high. And what's going to happen if we do that is it's going to bow the board a little bit and put pressure both on this board but also on our socket. And we don't want to do that. So the spaces are essentially meant to lift up and provide support for the drives. Now, if it was a single sided, there wouldn't be anything here. And so we could just put these anywhere, but because it's double sided, we need to space them around these raised bits. Now, we don't really have enough space on the edges to put any. So what I'm gonna do, because our thermal sensor sits in the middle and I can't, so I can't put one there. I'm going to put one here at the front. And then I'm going to put two at the back, one on each side of where it screws uh, into the mounting point there. So these should just, peel off or split off as it may be. And there's three in each of these little rows. So they should just fold up. Don't worry if they stick together, it's fine. Um, they're plenty adhesive enough. And once they get warm, they'll stick really well. So I'm just gonna stick that one there towards the front. And then split out two more. And so one of them we'll put, so we'll put this one up the back here doesn't have to be perfect. Then the second one will also put up the back on the opposite side. So there we go. So we've got all three there. One, two, three. And now if we slot that into our, our bay here, it should go in really, really nicely. Yep. Perfect. Exactly what we want. So once we screw that down, it shouldn't be applying any extra pressure anyway. So let's go ahead and do all of the others. All right, so that's our SSD drives all uh, done with those adhesives on the underside uh, to help raise them up and provide extra support. So you might've noticed I haven't put them all straight into the expansion card yet. 
You could. I've opted not to because we also need to apply our thermal tape, which is what we removed those stickers for on the other side. And you could do that once they're in. I personally think it's easier to do it before they go in. So that's what we're gonna do now. So grab your first one and flip that over to the other side. This is the side that we're looking at here. And then we'll want to apply our thermal tape. So we can just peel that off and it'll feel pretty floppy, flimsy. And we'll go ahead and actually apply that onto the drive. So you want to put it, so it kind of covers, it comes into contact with pretty much everything um, that you can. So I'm trying to line this up roughly to come into contact with all of the raised bits on the drive. And it does pretty nicely cover them all there. So it does overflow a little bit onto some of the other bits here. Not a huge deal, thermal tape is not conductive, so that's fine. Now, that one's all good, we can put that aside. It's ready to go. Let's get the others done. And the last one. So this blue side, the shiny blue, it's another piece that will get removed once we're ready to mount the heatsink. All right, so that's all of our SSDs here. They've got their thermal tape on one side. On the other side, we've got our pads and we're ready to go. We can go ahead and mount these in our QNAP QM24 P384 expansion drive. Take your drives and one by one, we're gonna go ahead and slot them in to their slots. And then we wanna screw them in here. I've left this extra protective bit of tape on for now because it helps us ac avoid accidentally coming into contact with it. Doesn't need to be super tight, just firm to touch. Don't want to damage anything. And do the same for all the others. All right, there we go, they're all installed. So now our next step is basically, we need to put the heating back obviously, but we wanna remove this extra layer that's on top of the SSDs here. So we wanna remove, make sure we remove this top layer of protective tape from thermal uh, tape as well. Otherwise, why do we bother taking the stickers off? So they should just peel up nicely. You should be able to get in and just lift up one of the corners and then peel it off from there. Um, try not to pull up too much of the thermal adhesive with it. Um, it's not a big deal if you do, but just try and keep it nice. So that's them all done. Now we can go ahead and replace that heat sink. So if you flipped it over like I have, just make sure it goes back the right way around. Uh, like so, and then it's really just folding it back on, lining those screws up and slotting them in. So just to see that from a different angle. So line those up like so. And then grab your screwdriver and away you go. Try and screw them in fairly evenly. I like to go corner to corner. I just feel like it makes sure it's all that little bit more balanced. And again, these don't need to be screwed in super tight, just as far as they go is fine. So that's it, we're all installed now. You might've noticed that this thermal adhesive here, it hangs out the end. Don't worry about that too much. Um, that's fine, it's no big deal. So that's it. Now you can go ahead and stick your QM24 P384 inside your QNAP NAS. Uh, just be aware, depending on your NAS, you may need to also change this back panel. That's it for me for now. Hope you found this video really helpful. Make sure you like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.